Honestly, when the hot seaweed wasn't there yet. Hello and welcome to your Dad Learns StarCraft 2. This is a Zerg vs Zerg where I basically want to show a style of play that I've started doing recently that I just kind of stumbled upon. I didn't look it up or anything. I just kind of stumbled upon doing it because of troubles I was having in Zerg vs Zerg games. And I was thinking, hey, maybe this will help some other players out. So, I want to talk about this style while going through this game. And the two things I want people to pay attention to, if you're looking at this to see what I'm trying to do, is there's basically a map control style. I want you to pay attention to containment and the choices I make for containment, and vision and what vision allows me to do, which is basically anything I want. So, we're going to start off. And in the upper right hand corner, my honorable opponent, another member of the swarm, Haki, wearing a spiky kind of prehistoric fish type looking skin. Pretty cool, I like it. And in the lower left hand corner, playing Zerg the way that he does. It's your hero, your champion, your dad. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna do I'm gonna start with 13 pool with gas. I'm not doing a 12 pool because my whole goal is to contain my opponent and get up to roaches fast. I want to makes zerglings and right now as soon as the pool pops make your zerglings I make a queen because I am going to go for zergling pressure I'm not going to go for an all-in but just pressure and they actually drone scout so when they drone scout you can see their response they make some zerglings a queen and they make a couple spine crawlers good response you know what they don't make an expansion so I'm going across, I see that they don't have an expansion, so I'm like, alright, are they defending? I see those two spines, yeah, they're defending. Just back up, we're containing. Take my natural. Because we're good. Because we know I'm bringing more overlords across, there's another one right there coming. Moving this one into position to see the natural. And we know they haven't gone to these third base locations, because they haven't had time and I can look at these third base locations and now I know they're just they're contained I know they don't have an expansion yet I see some zerglings but they come towards my other army and I'm making a roach warren making some more drones and I've actually been droning I have 19 drones they have 16 and I'm making three more six more so I'm going to be on 25 drones I made a building, so make two buildings, so 23 to 15. And this is the thing. Now I see they attack me. Making two spines, making some zerglings. My evil chamber's almost done. Make some roaches. I'm going to inject and go hold. Inject and go hold at this ramp. And now I'm going to move this spine up here. And now I'm going to showcase a misplay that I make. I decide... You know what? I bet this would be more useful down here. But they hit me with Banelings. And now I can't plant because I have enemies there. And I don't micro to plant it. So this could be hitting them the entire time right now. This fight would be over. Right now I've had a spine hitting them the whole time. A second spine. Instead they run into my drone line. I mineral drill. They attack a roach, I attack them. I don't lose any workers. So that works for me. And I'm still making roaches. In case they're still flooding, but I've got map vision, I know they're not. I see that they are building in front of their base. And I spread overlords out to check third base positions in case they decide to get greedy. I have six roaches going across. I decide to move them back. Because I'm just trying to contain them. There's no need to try to break their natural. Because if I want, I'm almost at 300 minerals. I'm making six more drones. So I've got 28 drones. I can take a third if I want to. I'm making another drone. And I know they're not moving out on me because I don't see them in vision here. I don't see them in vision up here moving around. And I'm making a layer so I can roach speed. I've got plus one missile attacks. And like I said, I didn't do a 12 pool because I wanted that gas to make roaches, make an evo chamber, and make my level one upgrade. Because once my roaches have a level one upgrade, they obliterate Zerglings. Instead of taking three hits to kill a Zergling, they only take two hits. Like, my opponent has 
12 Zerglings right now. I have 13 Roaches. By the time you know, I attack them at range, and then they reach me and I attack them again, their Zerglings are dead. So Zerglings right now, if my opponent starts massing them, is a bad option. Because I can see what they're doing. If I was more active with Overlords and Overseers, I could see even more. But I'm just making Roaches, making a Spire, because I want to transition. This is just personal decision. I was going to transition to air, because I figured they're going to start making a bunch of roaches, probably. They haven't been able to scout me, so they're doing everything blind. They're actually making a blind Hydralisk den, which is good on them, because that would be really good against Mutalisks. But they're doing everything blind, and I'm deciding if we end up in a roach war, having Mutalisks, like a good group of like 10 to 13, will make a big difference. And if they don't, attack and I end up going aggressive these guys will help me sneak into bases pick stuff off they're not really a main army force but they can harass they can split the opponent and that's what I'm doing now I've got a third base I've got it mining I don't know when I switched off my camera sorry about that but I've got a third base I've got mining I've got three spines defending it in case they throw zerglings that way and here's some zerglings they threw this way they look for a third base Look at that. Spines destroy them. Sweet. They still haven't taken a third. I have. An almost fully saturated third. Here's my base camera. Now I see. Hey, they, they're trying to take a third. Hey, they're trying to take a fourth. Hey, that's 600 minerals. That's a large investment. I've been making army. Here's a mistake. Moving out is not the mistake, by the way. It's that I had, if we look on my minimap, I had roaches here, zerglings here, I A clicked over here, zerglings that took one path, roaches took the other. Now they're split. Now I'm not actually fighting with my whole army at once. This is going to be bad. Imagine if I engage with zerglings and roaches here into their roaches. Those banelings be dancing, trying to get around here. So I didn't pull roaches back. So they pretty much sacrifice all their banelings to kill all my roaches. Which is good, and they're going to try to counterattack me and win. Now, I decided to have my zerglings take out this base. I'm going to have them take out the other base too. Heads up, a spoiler about another mistake. My zerglings are still in the control group that I'm going to be adding the 17 roaches I'm making to. So my defense force is also in this control group. So when I go to defend, I actually pull my zerglings back. And my mutalists stopped following the roaches. Because I didn't attack over here, I attacked a roach. And when that roach died, my mutalists stopped fighting. And I don't realize it yet. I see it now, because I'm moving my mutalists to attack, and then I'm moving my zerglings back to attack this third. However, my roaches that I built clean up that fight. And they clean it up well. So you can see, even though I made a whole lot of mistakes right there, just the fact that I've contained them and had more bases and more production has given me control over this game. I also ran drones away to my main base so that I wouldn't lose all of them. So if we look, I've still only lost five drones. Taking out that base, they've lost eight. And I saw that they had Hydralisks, so I don't go for the attack on their second base because I don't want to lose all my mutas. And honestly, right now, I could probably attack their second base and win the game. But that's not what I'm... Well, yes, I am trying to win the game, but that's not the style that I'm going for. I'm going for trying to almost max out and then attack and make sure I have a stranglehold on this game. They're still stuck on two bases, basically. And as long as they're still stuck on two bases, I know they won't be able to make as many units as me. They won't be able to do as much production as me. I make 14 drones so I can get up to that key 60 drones, which is a really good economy for Zerg vs. Zerg. Go to inject my bases, make sure my macro's kind of set up, make some geysers, do that. Now check for a third. Now I'm going to attack into their natural with my ground army. And I'm going to fly around. And I don't notice on the minimap these drones going. This is because they're making two ninja bases. So I'm killing some overlords because I want to stop them from being able to make army, which I do. They now they can't make army. 
they have to make overlords before they can make any army. They are on a low economy. That isn't fun for them. So, as they bring their Hydralis down, I bring my Mutas back in. And I should have killed the Queen also, but I prior prioritize the Spore, get that Overlord, and then they come up. And now I run away. Because Mulisks absolutely get destroyed by Hydralisks. So I make a Hydrogen just because I need it. 17 more Roaches I've been building behind this fight, so I'm actually remaxed already. Which means I'm going to attack again, because I'm remaxed. Evo Chamber, Drones, I'm just making sure my base is set up, and off I go. And uh, one of the things to note, while well, we have a second, they're ninja bases. The good and the bad thing about those, the good thing for them is this is basically their whole mineral income is in those ninja bases, so they still have some income. But they don't really get army from it, because they can't defend these spots with those. It's too far away to walk roaches or zerglings or whatever from these corners to go defend these bases. So when I go to destroy their base, they still can't stop me. And then it would just turn into a game of hide and seek. Like, oh, okay, you've I destroyed all your tech and your main bases, but you made ninja bases. That's cute. Let's have my overlords run around the map. I should do that earlier. As you saw, I just checked for a third, then attacked in. And they're now going to get absolutely destroyed. They're getting rocked on. They're getting mollywopped. And that was that game. And behind this... Even though I've lost units, 198 supply. Why? I'm making 15 Hydralisks. I'm making level 2 upgrades and range attack for Hydras. And this is because Hydras have a range of 6. Roaches have a range of 4. So I can have roach, a line of Roaches with a line of Hydralisks, which are higher DPS, faster attacking units, but less health, less armor behind them. Roaches tank damage. Hydralisks deal a bunch of damage. Not bad. Especially when I know they're not they're not on air. They're not on any air stuff. And at this point, obviously, I can make whatever I want because my units right now are going to win the game. But yeah, that's just an example of the build I was doing. It could definitely be improved by... These overlords sitting here doing nothing. I control 90% of the map for most of the game. They could be sitting at all these bases, these outer ones, and then I would know if they had ninja bases and I'd have even more of a grip on this game. Um, I made mistakes fighting, I didn't do stuff as fast as I could. I've seen this guy about the entire game, never killed him, even with these five Hydras doing nothing. Or of Hydras, five Mutas doing nothing. So there are definitely lots of places to improve. But the point is, I found a build that I liked. Um, gives me early pressure with a 13 pool. Once again, I do 13 instead of 12 because I plan to move into um, gas heavier tech. Um, i.e. roaches as quickly as I can because if they counter with zergs I want to have roaches or with zerglings I want to have roaches and then I just I keep vision and I focus on containing I didn't throw away all my zerglings trying to take out their base at the beginning of the game I just stood down here I stood around here had an overlord here to see when they take their base and I teched up I droned and teched up as hard as I could, kind of. Like, if you're... You probably could do it quicker, but, you know. I droned and teched as hard as I could. Got those roaches, and by the time they decided to counterattack, it was an easy defend. And then I got so far ahead on the three bases that when I messed up this f big fight, when they came to counter to try to finish me, I already had enough roaches to defend because I had so many extra bases. So, yeah. That was that game. Hopefully that gives you a little insight into something that has been helping me. Something that I've enjoyed, and I think I've enjoyed it because it makes me feel more in control of the matchup. And that's something that when I was just trying to be the defender, trying to be the straight-up macro guy, I didn't feel I had control. I felt like I was hoping I didn't get rushed, I was hoping I could defend it. I was hoping I didn't do the right or the wrong macro move or micro move that lost me the game. And here, all that pressure of defending 
and trying to expand and trying to break free is on my opponent, well, there's a lot less pressure on me, which just lets me macro and lets me macro better. So, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, feel free to like, comment, share, whatever you want to do. And, till the next time, I've been your dad. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.